Excuse My Friend. We're your hosts. Heartland Ray. I'm Julia. And I'm Alexis. And we're excited to be here. We're we excited to party in your earbuds. No one that is, makes sense in your in your Julia, headphones. No one is partying right now. When I listen to podcasts, it's in the morning. So people are probably getting ready to have coffee. Probably. Or they're getting ready to go to work or they're driving to work. Yeah, I feel like I'm a I'm an early you don't listen podcast. To podcasts while you get ready for parties. No. No. Uh, come I guess on. I don't either. What I do listen, you do? We I, listen to music. music. <laughs> like we get hype, you know, we play some like top yeah, we get 40. Hyped. We get we play some, some Shania Lipa, Abba. Yeah. Um, we play all those things. I don't Post know. Post Malone. I play whatever like works. Whatever's and then, like on the radio right And then now. I replay a song so much that I'm like, okay, we're over music. Let's yeah, just have nothing. You'll listen to one song, not even the whole song. Yeah. You'll listen to like just a part of it yeah. and you'll play it over and over, over and, and over. And over. And over. I listen to vibey, just sad, emotional music and I would just get Emo sad. Girl. I would just like listen to music and cry. What? So I, I like, I had to stop. Really? Like, I don't listen to music anymore because I feel like it's, music is so powerful. It yeah, can it changes tug, your like mood. It can tug at your heartstrings. It can bring out so many yeah. emotions so i just i just stopped um that makes it makes me think of um i can't, i don't want to whisper it, but like our neighbor our neighbor the other night was having a moment no not the other night last night our neighbor yeah. was having a moment she was listening to what was she listening to i don't even know some this, loud like, hip-hop sad it wasn't a moment julia it was a wailing and a crying yeah. and a like a full-on it was like, like oh! It was really sad. So we went over there to make sure she was okay. Yeah, we just, we're, we're those people. Yeah. We just, most people like don't want to deal with anyone's issues nowadays. Like they just kind of like, oh, it's not our issue. But for us, we want to make sure like, you're okay. Like, I hope that someone does that for us. Yeah. And we were so, kind of nervous to go over there. Because like, we've never met like, her. We don't like, know who go, she is. We've never her. met her. So we went on a walk with yeah. her with her dog. And just, we were just like a shoulder to cry on, kind of. She just yeah. talked to us. And, and then it kind of got a little it weird. It got a little weird to be exchanged honest. numbers. Because we are like, if you need anything, like, text us. She asked for our location. Yeah, she started sharing her location and then asked for our location. And, and I was like, what? that's odd. Because we both know where we where each other yeah, lives. Like, you know um, where we are. So now I currently have my weird. mom, my sister, and my neighbor as my and location I don't have share any. People. Why do you share a location? Like, do you share your location often? Just with my family, and now apparently the neighbor. <laughs> Would you share your location with a boyfriend? I think so. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why not? I think it's I think that could be so toxic. I think it's a for me. It's more of a safety thing. Like, yeah, but that could be toxic. Like you, no. like you look at it all the time. You're like overly checking where they're at, what they're doing. I would absolutely hate that. Sometimes I don't want people to know where I'm at. Like I'll be texting them like. I am here, but really I'm there. Or like, <laughs> I, really? like okay, good night. I'm you going to bed. Sneaky sneak. Or like, I'll tell people like, I'm going to bed, like good night. And I'll really like be at a party with you or something. And I'm like, I don't want nice. them to know. I also have like, um, like trust issues, I think a little bit. So maybe that's why like a little bit of like, you know, that kind of thing going but on. But then wouldn't you want to know where they are all the time? So you yes. want their location, but you don't want them to have your location. Yes, exactly. All right. Exactly. No, but I also I, don't I, want I, theirs yeah. though, because I know myself. I'll get obsessive. Yeah. Uh, there was one time I was cheated on. One time. And ever since that one time, I would appreciate the location, but I know it'd become obsessive. I found out the guy was cheating because I checked his Venmo account. How did you find out on his Venmo account? I was doing something on Venmo, probably sending you money for something. I don't know. Long story short, I saw that he was sending some girl at U of A um, some money. And I didn't think anything of it, but he was sending emojis with the caption. Oh, no, and I'm like, that's kind of weird. Emojis. No. And I confronted him and he's like, it's my sister's friend. I'm like, bullshit. I thought your you were going to say friend. he said, it's my sister. No. <laughs> it's my sister. <laughs> Surprise. No. Plot twist. No, it's my sister's friend. And I'm like, that's such crap, dude. Okay. And then I messaged Aww. the girl and the girl's the type that loves drama. And um, she told me everything. She told me everything. And I, I didn't confront him again. I didn't say a word. I just dropped it all. It wasn't like we were like super serious. So I was just kind of like, eh, whatever. And some people that I talked to are like, is that even considered cheating if you guys weren't like super official? I'm like, I think so. Wait, so you guys weren't even official? I mean, I think we were fit, kind of. I don't know. Oh, we didn't really have that so convo. Like, is it cheating but... if you don't have the official title? Talk? I mean, for me, it's like he was the only guy I was sleeping, like sleeping with. But but do you know what I mean? If you're dating somebody, is it okay to date other people? Is that considered cheating? I feel like that is such a gray area. 
Yeah. It's hard to answer, right? Well, there's been times, I will say, that I, like, have hung out with multiple guys in one night and they all thought I was super into them. Multiple guys in one night? (laughs) Yeah. I thought you were going to say multiple guys in one week, maybe. No. In one night? You're gross. You know both of these people. One of them was my ex that I just kind of kept dangling. And the other one was a new guy who was my only one kind of like bad boy kind of thing. I went through like a moment. And I saw them both in one night. And I Did they know about each other? No. So you were cheating. Is that cheating? No. But you didn't have the... The um, talk. You didn't have the talk. Yeah. No, no talk. Yeah, that leaves a little bit of wiggle room, I think. Thing. I think it does too. Or, or if like you're getting a good morning and good night text from the person, like hell yeah, that's my stomping ground. Like that's mine. I stamp it. That's my stomping ground. I stamp you're you. my stomping ground. That doesn't <laughs> I, make sense. I no, because like that's my thing. If you're sending good night, good morning, and babes, like oh, we're, were there. you sending good night, good morning, and babes to these guys? No, because to be honest, I'm gonna be completely honest with okay, you. Let's hear it. I don't get emotionally involved when I have sex. It's truly you a physical robot you it's a physical thing you're like a guy i am like a guy like I, there's just like no emotion so, like i can hit it and quit it in two seconds i've had guys who are like uh, don't you want to stay you're do you want to watch tv do you want some water i'm like no i'm good like we're good so <laughs> were you born this way or did you have to train yourself to get this way um i was burned one time by someone and i think you know and ever since that moment i'm like i put a wall up and the wall's been there, and I think it'll always stay. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's good. You learn from that, definitely. Yeah, I learned. Um, I'm like, I'm never having that pain ever again. I'm the opposite. Like when I hook up with somebody, I I get crazy girl, crazy girl brain. You do. Um, automatically. You really do. Um, there's been a few times with a few guys that I wasn't that into, and it was just physical. I was able, and they Barely, were all about me. Julia. But there was a few times. There was, but nine times out of ten, which is a lot. I, you know, I, mean, I stay over. I make their bed. Oh um, my god! Yeah, a doormat. I'm a door. I was a doormat. I don't do that anymore. So if you're listening, don't do that. But yeah, so you're saying you're not still a doormat because I not. Yes, no, you are. Julia. Am, oh, my goodness. I've been burned so many times. I'm, me the I am day, fed up with being a did. doormat. What did I do the other day? What? Laundry. What? I did my you, laundry. Yeah. No, you brought the guy you likes laundry to do it. That was three months ago. Not the other day. Still. So all of a sudden, three months goes by and you're not a doormat anymore. I'm not a doormat. You just don't do their laundry in general. Like just he didn't have a washer and dryer and and you offered and you're like, I'll do I it for you. I think that's a nice thing because no. he does stuff for me. He looked Door at my mat. He helped fix my car because he like knows what like works with cars. Doormat. He helped me. I'm going to help him. That I'm is sorry. A red when flag. you're married, you're not going to do your husband's laundry. Hell All right. no. You, you and I are different. I'll do my husband's laundry, oh, but I, I'm, I'm no. a little more traditional. I think when a man and woman sleep together, you literally scientifically become one. Well, like your scientifically, body, that's not scientifically, true. scientifically, like there's remnants of their body fluids okay. in you. Ew, 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 ew. So like this person sleeps with you. They're sleeping with that person that you slept with last. And then like spiritually something happens. Like to me, it's so deep. <laughs> You're getting way Sex too deep. Sex is so deep to me. That is why. Is it really? Yes. It's so much more than just that. Like I said, you become one and something happens. Oh, really? And that's See, why. I like, like for yeah, you, no. you're, like everyone sees it and differently, which is fine. And I fake it a lot of the times too. So mine's, fake mine's a whole show i don't i can't like i don't know it's a whole thing you can't get into it i can like it feels really good but i also like fake it till i make it interesting so i think yeah i think we I all put know. on a little bit i just yeah, yeah. cuz i know that that's what they like and i'm like i'm not going to do it right like, on this ah! podcast right now <laughs> but i give it the whole show the first time was very emotional because it was my first everything like my first love how was my it first everything um I didn't feel it and it lasted two minutes, not even. Why? Why? Yeah. Because he just wasn't blessed. Oh, <laughs> He's oh my God. The he didn't poor guy. Say that. So then I thought to myself, oh no. So this is sex, huh? This is what everyone's obsessed oh, with. Oh no. Yeah, the poor oh, guy. He wasn't blessed. I know. I'm not like <laughs> saying that to be mean. I'm not going to drop names. <laughs> 
Um, it does kind of you matter. You got it or you don't. Yeah. I, I thought I was going to save myself for marriage. Yeah. What was yours? What was your first I thought I was like? going to save my, the whole plan was I was going to save myself for marriage. Then I met this guy. We were in a relationship for like a while and he went to, a, he was a little bit older than I was. He went to ASU. He was in a fraternity. And one night, like I was just like, yeah, like let's like, <laughs> let's do it. And it was in a frat house. The music's pumping. People are like, you know, it's loud and we're just like, whatever, let's just do it. And, um, the condom broke or my very first time. I really hope no That's one in my family terrifying. or my parents or my brothers listen to our podcast because this is so... Oh, whatever. Your family's so open about that I know, stuff. but not when it comes to this stuff. You guys That's are so weird. open. Like, if anything, know. my family, we're so not. We're very... Um, I know, but you have sisters. I have brothers. It's just weird. Speaking of condoms, I read this um, uh, funny article of this dog pooped out a condom. <gasps> But the best part, Julia, it wasn't her condom with him. Does that make sense? No, like, it doesn't make sense. And it, that's how she found out that he was cheating. What? Because of a condom. The dog pooped out a condom. That's oh, how hell she found no. out. That's not true. I Come just on. read that's that the other true. day. And the girl said that her and her partner have not had sex. And she was always kind of thinking like, oh, maybe he's been cheating. The dog pooped out a condom. Why was the dog eating a condom in the first place? Dogs like that kind of stuff. Dogs are into no, that freaky don't. leaky Come stuff. On. You've never had I've an never animal. had a dog. So what? Yes. They don't just eat, eat dog food. They, no, no, no. condoms. No, dogs go through the trash. That's why. Ew. Yeah. They like uh, underwear. They like trash. They like the that's disgusting get a dog you'll find out i promise you i don't want you. a dog now after hearing like, that unless you have like a high trash can if you have a low trash can so that's what i'm assuming happened it was like in the, one of the Aren't trash cans flush those i don't know i don't do it i don't do it the guys I don't do either, it do you flush like, it for them? no i don't deal with it it's not my problem why do guys cheat why do guys I cheat would, i just yeah it boggles my mind why people cheat like why? anyway like just break up with I, me i've cheated in the past so uh I, well, I julia paid dig. someone four hundred dollars to I shut can, their mouth are you gonna tell them the story tell them the story how you paid four hundred dollars i i mean i was in high school so high school relationships don't even count it does but, count um i broke up with my high school boyfriend and started dating a new guy but i cheated on the new guy with the high school boyfriend i kind of went back and forth between two guys the two guys and the my ex-boyfriend got mad and was like, I'm going to tell him. And I freaked out. And I was like, please don't tell him. And I paid him $400 to keep oh! quiet. <laughs> uh, and $400. I was 17. I worked at an ice cream shop. That was like all the money I had. All the money. Um, and so fast forward a few months and the new guy broke up with me and cheated on me. So I met karma. So karma met kicked karma. me in the butt. You met yeah. karma. So all these cheaters We out went there. to this party. It was a house party. I didn't want to go to this party because we had gone out two nights in a row before that and my social <laughs> battery needed to be charged. I needed to be alone. But can't you recharge from people's energy? No, people make me so tired. No, they don't, Julia. I love hanging out with people, but I get so tired. You I'm do. So, I'm an introvert. I need my time. Really? See, I'm the opposite. Like, I get my energy and my, like, I can do it. I can do it. Uh, I'm so energized by people. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I was done. So you really wanted me to go to this party. And thank you, you for coming. You didn't want to go alone. So I'm a really great friend. So you are a great friend. I'm a trooper. Super, I went. super appreciate that. Yes. So she went and I ended up helping her at the end of the night, not because she was drunk, but because some guy was all up in you her business. You didn't help me. You were right there. Like he was talking <laughs> to me. We were standing by the speaker. It was so loud. I couldn't hear anything. In my head, I go, I don't want to be in this conversation. How do I get out of this conversation? And Alexis is just standing there looking off and I'm just like, can you do I'm something? I'm looking for my Prince Charming at a party because there were hot guys and you're over here wanting me to stay with you. And I was a good friend. I thought, oh, geez, I got to take one for the so team. This guy keeps trying to talk to me. He asks me for my snap. Then he asks if he can get me a drink. And I said, I don't drink. <laughs> he said, yeah, I went six months without drinking. I'm, I go, that's great. <laughs> and then he asks, why don't you drink? I just say, you know, I just want to be healthier and, you know. And you always get a look about you. Like, when you're over the conversation, you have this, like, look about you. Yeah, like, oh. I was so over it, but I didn't want to be rude. And plus, it's we're by the speaker, so I'm just like, what? Hey, I can't hear and you. And why did you have me standing and, there awkwardly? And then I thought maybe you would chime in and help me. I don't know. You were useless. And then... <laughs> So yeah, he asked me why I don't drink. I said, oh, I just for, you know, I just want to be healthy. You know, I'm trying to work out, eat well. What about you? He goes, oh, your story's boring compared to mine. <laughs> I go, what? Then Alexis perks up because she likes oh, drama. Oh, because I'm like, 
drama. She likes drama. So drama. She, then she goes, what happened? I'm like, you're, you're useless. Yeah, I did so, not speak uh, until the drama so came in. I was like, let's We all took it. it inside. We went inside and sat on the couch and had a powwow, the three yeah. of us. And this guy <laughs> is drunk and giving us just the, the His deepest. His whole life the story. The life story. The deepest, which... I definitely have sympathy. You know, he had some of issues. Of course, like, he went too. to rehab, yeah. flunked out of college, yes. lost his job. His parents found of him. Course. Over, like it's just awful. a whole mess. And so I'm thinking in my head, I'm getting really uncomfortable because I've known this person less than five minutes, and he's telling us all this information. <laughs> And um, it was my favorite part. And I, I didn't know what to say. I was just like, no, let me you know, tell them. Let me tell them what you said. This I laughed so hard. We came home and I laughed. I was crying, laughing so hard. So we're he's telling us a story. And at this point, I'm like listening, but I'm kind of checked out because I'm also buzzed. And when I'm buzzed, I'm like in and out of conversation. Julia's full sober. All of a sudden, I hear her. She's like looking at him in like this like light. Like, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. I don't know why you think that's so funny. <laughs> like, what else do you what? say? Why? I, I don't get it. Like, what, what was there to appreciate? Is, what else is I there to say? <laughs> this guy's telling me the deepest, darkest, most intimate time of his life. I don't know you. And I'm just trying to be compassionate and just be like, yeah, like. And then afterwards, there was a silence. and I didn't know what else to say. And I'm just, I just go, thank oh you for God. sharing. Yeah. And what's so funny about that? Like, thank you oh, for, sh- thank you so for feeling funny. comfortable enough to open up to us. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Can you no, I, yes, I don't think because, it's funny. Oh my God. Because you're you, tearing up. Oh it's my so God. Funny it's to you. so funny to me. Well, I think he was so trying to get funny. with one of us. And it was I just, you, Julia. I wasn't having it. I was just, no, you I weren't. I just go, thank you for sharing. <laughs> if you were wanting to hook up with him, he would have pounced on it. Like he was all into you the body language getting like he was just weird anyways so i asked him i was like do you have a girlfriend like do you have a girlfriend like who knows he paused he didn't say a word and i said do you and he like literally drunkenly was like yeah but it's like a long story i was <laughs> it's always a long out. story wait hold on yep. if somebody's gonna cheat it's always a long always story a long story they place the blame on yep. their partner like oh she cheated on me or oh we're we're breaking up totally. we're separated we're sleeping in separate beds it's it's complicated yeah, like i was really uncomfortable no but i was just bummed i'm like why i mean were you wanting him why are you bummed I was, Neither of us were interested. Julia, I was bummed for the girlfriend. Yeah. Like, it's girl. Like, you just don't do that to someone's heart. Like, that ruins someone. If you cheat, that's a lasting impression it on really someone. It really is. He didn't say or do or insinuate anything inappropriate. Right. He did. He because was, you weren't he opening was that door. just sharing his rehab Experience. I know Julia, but he if wasn't you, like trying. To, I, know I mean, he that. asked for my snap, which is weird. I know, but but I'm just saying, if if you were open and available and actually liked him, he would have been like, "It's a green, it's a go." I mean, nothing. I don't happened. remember his name. Luckily, so. we pieced out. So it's none of my I business, just, I guess. But I'm just like, I'm that person. Like, I want to look out for my girls. I'm a girl's is girl. Flirting? flirting is not cheating. I'm a flirtatious person. In ju- like I flirt with so, everyone, but you're accusing this guy of being a cheater just by sharing his story. Like he wasn't even really flirting. I mean, I guess that's true. You know but what I mean? A Julia asking for my snap though that is kind of strange. It could have gone down that road. I just know it. But like flirting if you actually... could go down a certain road too. Yeah, but I know that the, when the road ends, <laughs> that's you. But like I'm talking about other people. Oh. Yeah, I mean I think everyone like you don't have a flirtatious personality at all no i don't at, i don't know you how are as to dry as they come i don't know how to i'm like i i'm like you can come to me you can do all the work yeah you I don't, don't. i'm I don't. very flirtatious i'll flirt with anything i think <laughs> i don't know how to flirt <laughs> no you don't i i'm good yeah i i think are for people me, born like that like they're born to like flirt maybe i don't know i really don't know how i think flirting for me is just being silly and being funny like if somebody has the same humor as me we can laugh that's flirting but other than that i don't i don't know how julia <sighs> Excuse me. That is so disgusting. I had Chipotle before recording this. I'm sorry. That's why. Oh my. Why what? You know why. Maybe don't act, trigger me. Act like a woman. Don't trigger me. <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> act like a woman. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> what were you what saying? It? That's why you probably what don't have a. Say? That's why you don't have a boyfriend. You have to keep that stuff under wrap. Like, like you, Act some, like a woman. okay, here's the thing. Farting and burping, you do not do in front of guys. They don't think that's I hot. I don't do that. I'm just with a friend right now. And this is going to be on the internet. So uh, 
the internet in the world is going to hear and see this and they're going to be like that girl Julia Fry she's hot as hell but then all of a sudden stuff comes out of her mouth and her asshole <laughs> <laughs> it happens to everyone we're actually i am curious like in a relationship this is now we're on another subject now but like being no i am wondering <laughs> do you like do you do that i can't even say it i can't even say the like, words fart oh my god guy. i hate that word fart? yeah no i hate uh, it too do you um, you used to right i used to Ew. not like early on if it's the first few dates no i used to with serious boyfriends i was with for a while and at first i think it's cute Ew, at Julia. first like oh that's cute <laughs> and then after a while they get they get fed up because it is gross it is disgusting yeah, like you're not Do you no i think it's gross when you both like are doing it in front of each other or when you're when you say i have to take a dump or Ew, i have to like i, I don't like want to know that peeing is fine like i'll pee in front of you i'll go pee but the other stuff i think mm -mm. i don't want to think about about that i don't want to like and I don't, for I don't those be couples that. that can do that i applaud you like i'm kind of envious because i always just like that do that around yeah, each other no i guess sometimes so, they're so, so close and the guy's still obsessed with the girl and the girl's still obsessed with him if i have to go poop at a guy's house i will go to the store and go, i was just gonna say that's what i do or i'll go home or if it's really bad i will turn the shower on and the sink on and i'll be like i just got my period i, I don't feel well because sometimes you can't help it sometimes you can't i thousand i either if i'm there and i don't have my car i take their car and i'm like i go oh it's you know it's the girl thing or i i'm like oh i have to run to the store <laughs> the girl real thing's quick been happening three times this month yeah been, i truly <laughs> do you just I, have your girl thing no i go to the store if i have to go to the bathroom like i do not do it no, at their house I, I just can't not absolutely not and or if you're out and about and in public and you yeah. just go to a public restroom, but then sometimes they'll just stand outside the bathroom. <laughs> oh, oh, let me hold your coffee for you. I'll just wait out here. No, no, no. Do your thing. Go shop. I'll just meet up with you. Oh, no, no. I'll just wait right here. I'll hold your coffee. Yeah. So then I go and I'm like, I can't do this under pressure. I, I got to relax. I can't do this. So then it's the pressure I thing. I can't do it. I feel like, but you've told me your body knows when like you can't go, right? yeah see mine is just a flowing really ew no when i travel like my body knows i went on this really? camping trip it was three days long nothing the <laughs> second i got back to the hotel room my sister and i were like raced to the bathroom oh. it's, i know it's gross but I, how does that work you're like my body just knew it just knows when you're in your house or when you're out it's i it's don't like have i don't have that really you can just go no. anywhere like in a, can you go in a porta potty what I haven't tried. I don't know. I'll let you know when I do. Like, I'll give it a shot. I'll be like, Julia, yeah. I went in the porta potty but, today. Okay, so enough of this bodily fluid -y, please, functiony please. stuff. Please, please, move on. Um, we really want to get into the mind of a serial cheater. Yes, um, we do. And nobody ever wants to admit that they cheat. So we have a friend that openly Who like wants knows, to stay anonymous, knows he's a douchebag. And so he shared some insight as to why he um serial cheats so we're gonna play that phone call okay so were okay. you a ch did you cheat or were you cheated on i cheated on thee okay and tell the story why did you cheat on this person because when she would not wear makeup and then expect me to treat her the exact same way as if she's wearing makeup and then oh you're uh you don't care about me it's not about the looks i'm like okay be realistic it is about the looks like what are you doing dude and she's just pissing me off and not seeing eye to eye i had to get out of there it was toxic and i'm not gonna take her victimization i left for good reason and i don't regret it and i like, <laughs> on her before i left and it was kind of fun that's all so you cheated on her because she didn't wear makeup all the time yes so so wait first of all that's so fucked up on like every level right before you're about to hook up with this this other girl are you thinking about your actual girlfriend at all um yeah how she doesn't find out oh so you're more worried about how to cover the lie than her being upset correct so there you have it. Wow. Serial cheater. Not only is he a serial cheater, but like rude. Very rude. Like, do you guys really think that way? This is why I'm always a little bit hesitant to take my makeup off. I'll yeah. keep it on. I'll sleep with it on. Right. I wonder if they wonder like, oh gosh, am I getting catfished? This <laughs> is why I don't use filters. Because I feel like a lot of people use filters and they don't look like that. Well, you don't need a filter. Person, 
thank you. You're very kind, but you know what I mean? So many girls that are beautiful and don't need it. And they have the filters that completely, you like, know, like the dog the one look. from totally. Snapchat that everyone did. I, and I've been guilty of using filters yeah, for sure. I do too, but I had to stop myself because A, I rely on them and B, I don't I want know. the guy to say, hey, this you're is a, little a little different. different. What's going on here? Yeah, so you don't. Do you if you if you sleep at a guy's house, do you take your makeup off? It just depends like how long have I known him? Like yeah. if it, if it's a boyfriend for like of a while, yeah, hell yeah, I'm taking it off. Yeah. The bras come up, the yeah. hair is on top of my head. Out. You like Ogre me, you like City. me. Yeah, like it's it is what it is. But if it's like a new guy, like I I'll sleep with my makeup on like at night, like after we you have sex. You sleep with it on? I will, just because like I don't know. It's just, I like, my skin is one thing. Like it, I like right now I'm breaking out like crazy, like all right here. So I just feel like they're just like looking at my zits at all times. And I'm like, I don't love that. Like, let's not pay attention to my like acne that I have. Aww, who cares? You're beautiful the way you are. Thank you. I know. But like everyone has their thing. I think mine's like my skin. Like it's like the yeah. zits and like the, like the scars. So I, for me, I'm like, eh, I'm going to kind of cover it up a little bit. And like maybe after like the fourth, fifth time we do this, I can really Slowly show you the true me. Less and less makeup. <laughs> See, I will take it off because I cannot sleep in makeup. It drives me nuts. But I'll wake up way earlier than them and go to the bathroom and put some on. I'm always like, oh my god, do they have to have a white pillowcase? Oh my gosh! Because like no, the makeup gets all over or white. Tan. I'm like, come on. And then the, the whole bed sheet is stained with spray tan. With spray tan yes, because like I've been guilty. Of yeah, that. if we're gonna go on a date, it's the spray spray tan it's the shaving it's, it's the, the hair, makeup it's the hair it's the fake eyelashes yeah. sometimes if we're going out yeah. somewhere really nice i've had it where like i wake up in the morning or even go home at night and i look and i'm like oh boy they're i'm thinking, not getting a call back girl? No, right? <laughs> my spray tan and my makeup has made a mark boy, this girl's <laughs> disgusting she stinks from the spray tan yeah. if you're not good looking how you can fix it is your personality yes if you're nice i think if you're a going, nice solid person it is so hot it like, is so it'll make you a 10 it really does like yeah. there's guys where i'm like ah like you're not like that good looking and then i meet them and you and i and both have experienced just like, this oh my gosh and i'm like oh my god you're like, like hot you're off now yeah like if you're not that cute if you have confidence and you're nice oh my gosh you're hotter than all these guys that are like that are hot but good looking but they don't have personality and you're just like yeah Ew. i'm like it ruins it, it ruins it so yeah. I don't know. So I think good for guys and girls, if like you have confidence in whatever you're in, cause like you are what you are, you yeah. know? Yeah. You can fix it. But like at the end of the yeah. day, like you're, you're, and looks there's only the one most, of you. The looks aren't the most important thing. No. So just be a kind person. And yeah. It may, it'll just make you a beautiful person. Yeah, totally. And I think like there's beauty in everyone. I think everyone knows now how we feel about cheating. Yeah. And, some and of just our experiences. everything. And just life. <laughs> and the Love next and episode is my favorite. Where we, Talk to the public. Where we hit the streets. We hit the streets. And we interview absolute strangers that we don't know and get their truth. We're going to get their, their real cheating stories. Yes. I wonder if anybody's, I wonder if anybody is going to admit to being a cheater. I also wonder if people think the way we do. Yeah. Like, I'm curious. I just, like, I just the world to doesn't people. always revolve around us as much as we think. As much <laughs> as we think. There's other opinions. So let's go see what else is out yeah, there in this go. world. Um, so. so tune in next episode. We're yeah. going to interview strangers about cheating. Follow us on all socials. Leave a review. Yes, at Excuse My Friend. Subscribe yes. to this podcast. Subscribe and follow on everything. And share it to your friends. If, if it's relatable to you and your friends, yeah. share it. Leave us some comments. Um, let us know what you thought. And if you made it this far, we appreciate you and we love you. We never and know how to end this like well, are we supposed to plug everything i feel like i'm giving a <laughs> grammy speech i'd like to thank my mom totally. i'm just you know i'm just happy yeah. you're here so yeah. want to do well, what you want we'll see you guys next time see ya all right bye, bye.